did you you didn't finish the game well, I suppose, from your own point of view? Uh, no. Uh, I was, as I had to ask there, do we have two men black carried at one stage there? That's the way I felt. But um, ah, look, we, we, we done well in the first half. Um, then they pressed up on us in the second half and so they put us under pressure. They weren't going to go home or anything, you know. So we were expecting them to come at us. Um, we held on the last five or ten minutes there. We took back control of the game and we've seen it out. So we're happy out. We're happy enough. Yeah, and there's no no injuries or anything there. I think John went off, but he did come back in there. I suppose maybe was that to to steady the ship because you know you, you were under pressure. Uh, John is just lazy. He went off for a break. <laughs> no injuries. No, all good. Okay, yeah, and uh, I thought you were very good in the first half. There, the latter stages of the first half, you were five three up, and then before half time, you were you were one nine to three points up. Some very good football players at that stage. Yeah, uh, like we all, we're always saying, that we have the players, we have the potential. It's just getting it over. Um, we haven't been able to do that for the, for a good spell now, um, and we're just trying to react to what happened to us last year. Um, we have a system that we're trying to to work to this year, and um, no, it doesn't always happen. Things go wrong on us. We lose our shape, we lose our heads sometimes. But uh, that first half, we managed to do it, and we were happy with it. Yeah. And I, I think as well, I, from from my point of view, I thought where you were very good is that your players coming back. You know, John Tubbard is ending up back, and Mikey Dwyer ends up back. Keen Byrne ends up back. They're making a switch. So you're bringing players back to defence as well. Yeah, yeah, but sure. Look, it's it's all it's all for the team. You know, the the, the boys are well able to do it. The other end, we know that. Um, but you know, it's work rate, it's tackling, it's covering space, it's blocking men. That's what we base our whole system around, and um, we need all hands on deck, uh, no matter who who they are. And we know the other end, if we get the ball to the boys, they'll do the damage as well. Yeah, and it's uh, turned into a Ross District derby now in the semi-finals. You have Horswood and Cushion Sound and yourselves in Timon, and you know you'll have a tough challenge against Timon next weekend. Yeah, not an easy, not an easy between any of them now. Us left, um, you know, everyone is trying to get up senior. Everyone is trying to work hard. Um, putting it all in and training and it's just trying to make it happen on the day and Timon are coming for us and we're going for them and you know, hopefully it'll, we'll come out the right side of it I, I believe we, if we do what we're, we're capable of and what we're trying to work on we'll be there thereabouts and, uh, Dara Barden came back today I think Dara's, is Dara back for, the, for good will he be back for the rest of it or is just back for today or? I can't say I can't say like, I'm not going to give away any secrets yeah. he, might, he might be he okay. might be around we'll, we'll expect to see him the next weekend <laughs> yeah. best of luck in the semi-final Gareth. yeah well okay thanks very cheers. much cheers, cheers.